Hey, my beautiful soul tribe. Thank you for checking out my channel for the love of water to row. It's your girl, Keonti, and I'm going to give us a collective read. It's for the insomniacs tonight. Again, this is for the collective. That's all signs. No matter what your zodiac sign is, it's for all of us. Yours, mine, ours, them, theirs, they. The collective. Guys, it is a general message. It is a general read. So everything I say won't resonate for every last single one of you. Certain elements will. Certain elements won't. Be sure to keep what resonates for you and release what doesn't. If I get it right for you guys, make sure you give me the like, comment, subscribe, and the share. And if you guys are interested in booking me for a private reading, my email information is in the description box below. All right, Soul Tribe, let me see. Let's see what's going on with us. Let me see what message of spirit has for us. What's going on out there? Thank you, spirit. All right. All right, soul tribe. So here's how I'm seeing it. I'll show you guys the cards I have soon, but I'd rather give you guys the messages I'm seeing. I see something that's getting ready to happen in divine timing. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius, but there is something about communication here. But what's happening is, is, this, is that this communication is going to happen in divine timing. Like someone may want to speak something, but it's like in divine time or their own time. There is definitely an energy of adoration and admiration, but there's like an energy of, of misdirection. Like, which way is this going to go? Maybe you have someone who has something that they want to speak to you. They're really mesmerized by you. They're really attracted by you. But with misdirection, they're not really sure how to go about something. Underneath the deck, I have disappointed news. So something hasn't gone according to plan, period. But I do feel like whatever is getting ready to happen here, there's getting ready to be communication, something that is a favorable communication with divine timing and love letter because you're you're mes someone some someone or something is absolutely mesmerized by you. I feel like the disappointing news is attached with the misdirection. So maybe something just didn't go the way someone planned or the way someone wanted it to or, or the way someone intended it to. OK. But I'll go ahead and show you guys the cards and then we'll get into it. I have divine timing, which is Sagittarius energy. This is everything happens at the right time. Surrender. Unexpected but favorable outcome. Good things come to those who wait. So I told you there is some sort of communication or good news coming in, but it's divine time. It's God's timing, not the timing you or this person would have wanted it to be, right? I have the love letter, which is clear communication, revealing heartfelt emotions, forgiveness for past wrongs, opening the line of communication and explaining. And I'm sorry, the unspoken hidden truth. So there's going to be some sort of communication that's coming in divine time and favorable. And it's happening because of this energy mesmerized. Your beauty is captivating. The magnetic attraction is strong. You could be dealing with the Gemini. Eyes out to the window, to the soul. A charming lover takes you by surprise. So I feel like this is what's coming in divine timing. Now, I know there's like a but or a twist to it because I have disappointing news. And this is definitely a message that brings some sort of grief. Dealing with reality, right? So it's like, I would have liked to have something with you or period a long time ago. Like I've been mesmerized by you or been mesmerized or been wanting something. But... There has been some sort of like the like reality is, is that there's some disappointing ish that has to be dealt with. Right. It has everything to do with misdirection. Right. And this is definitely the energy is like of like not listening to your intuition, block insight or foresight. Like this is I don't know which way to go with something. Someone doesn't know which way they're going to take something. And it's because it's been some sort of disappointing news that's coming in. That's kind of like thrown somebody all the way off. Right. So, right. Somebody could feel like they received some kind of news, some sort of disappointing news that completely derailed the plan that they had for someone here. And it's like, they still feel the same way about something. They still feel the same way. They feel like divine time and they're going to communicate. They still want something, but whatever this news is that came in, it like completely threw somebody off or completely like changed the path or misdirected or misguided somebody. Yeah. Let's get some clarification for this. Again, my beautiful soul tribe, if I'm getting it right for you guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. If you guys are interested in booking me for a private reading, my email information is provided in the description box below. 
All right, collective. Let's see what's going on here because I feel like I'm just gonna say you again. Put your got put yourself where you go in the scenario. Use your intuition. Use your discernment. This could be you. You could be feeling like it's something that you really want. It's really somebody that you really want to go after, and you feel like you still will, right? But some sort of disappointing news kind of led things off course, right? It feels like led off course, right? Yeah. Like, it feels like some news came in. Some sort of disappointing news came in that kind of took somebody off their path or their course or the direction that they was headed in, Right? Because I do feel like with divine time and love letter and mesmerize, somebody still wants something. They still find something captivating or something or someone captivating, beautiful, all that ish, right? The magnetic attraction is strong. So this is like, I still want that. Even though I got some bad news, even though something got led astray, even though I got misdirected or someone got this, this misdirected, I still want that, right? That's that energy, okay? So let's go ahead and get some clarifications for this. Again, guys, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Give me one for divine timing for my soul tribe. Thank you, spirit. The love letter for my soul tribe. Thank you. Mesmerized. Ooh-wee. Okay. Misdirection. Two came out. <laughs> All right. Underneath the deck, I have the fake account, which is just the page of swords, right? The Page of Swords is literally just somebody keeping an eye out on somebody. Now, somebody could be watching somebody from on social media, right? They could be spying on somebody from social media. Somebody could definitely be using a fake account or something like that. But it's the magnifying glass. So it's like somebody watching, but who's not overtly watching, right? Yes. There's still an eye out for something or someone here. Let's see what's clarifying divine timing. Broke ads. See, you know what this is? This is like somebody wanting to give something, but don't have like they don't have it right now, right? Because this is a this is a this is involved with the disappointing news, right? So this is like something that you wanted, something that you still plan on getting, right? But at the time, right? Something about the timing of it, like not being able to at this time, right? Remember, this energy says everything happens at the right time, and for and to surrender to it. An unexpected but favorable outcome, right? So it's like something disappointed someone, right? This could have been a financial loss. Someone could have lost their job. There's something here about disappointing news. This could have been loss of job, loss of money, right? This could just simply be feeling left out in the cold, dealing with someone that you truly love or you want. But it's like, right, just not being able to give something at the time someone would have liked to do it, right? For sure. Now let's see what the love letter is. Yep. Confused. This way, that way, which way, right? So I feel like there is some sort of communication. Like there's some sort of expression that's on the way. It could be, it could literally be the thing. It could literally be the energy like, I don't know how to say what I want to say, right? Like I know what I want, but the confusion could definitely be like communicating it, right? If the confusion, if it's just not the energy where... There's been some sort of disappointing news that derailed something, right? That didn't allow someone to give something that they wanted to give. Put it where it goes, y'all. But that's the energy of that. Either someone is unable to say to communicate how they want to communicate here, and it it could be because they they like they had some sort of setback, right? Or is someone wanting to say something like the time is getting getting near there. Someone knows that they need to give up something or say something here and they could just be confused on how to say it. Let's see what mesmerized clarified with. Ooh, moving on. Thank you. Next purple may be prominent in something. I just heard purple rain. I don't know who that's for. <laughs> purple rain, purple rain. Listen, there could definitely be an energy where, really, someone could be mesmerized by you. There could be a concern. Yes, someone could be concerned that if they don't give something in time, that the person that they're mesmerized with will move on, right? Moving on. Thank you. Next, right? Or whatever is going on with someone here, like I said, this disappointing news that's not allowing them to give what they wanted to give or do what they wanted to do. 
they may still very much be in the, in the energy of, I still want what I want with Mesmerize. It just could be something dealing with this, confused, broke ass, confusion, and moving on. Like, how do I get past some sort of setback? And it's, 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 de it's dealing with disappointing news, no doubt about it. So somebody may have heard some something, like they got some sort of news that set them back. But they still want what they want. They feel like this, this news came in and it kind of derailed or kind of sidetracked their plans or what they felt like they were destined to do or going to do. But I don't feel like it's going to stop them. Now look what's clarifying the misdirection. Again, this is like something steering something off course. I have a happiness hater. And I have an offer. So I'm going I'm to I'm keep it all the way funky with y'all how I'm seeing it. I feel like what caused this disappointing news, what caused something to be misdirected, what caused something to go off course, it has something to do with the hater. A happiness hater, right? Now, there, this, there, there's many levels to this, right? Somebody could have had a hater at their job and lost their job, like I said, which prevented them from doing something that they wanted to do, right? But they're still making that offer, right? This could be love, family, job, work, whatever it is. It's something here about a hater of happiness. Misdirecting, throwing something off track. But you know what the gag is? The happiness hater can't stop. This is like, with divine time, and this is like God can't stop an offer that's meant for somebody, right? For sure. This is like destiny, right? unexpected but favorable outcome right so it's like bumps come in a row but like this is this may not go how someone is planned but it's still gonna go because the offer is still here right for sure and good things come to those who wait right for sure let's get some terror on this if i'm getting it right for you guys make sure you like comment subscribe and share if you guys are interested in booking me please email me i thank you guys for all your continued support your belief and your trust in me all right we're going to get some tarot on this energy. Give me one for divine timing and broke ass <laughs> for my soul tribe. Give me some for that. The Ten of Pentacles. See, now listen, this does not have to be about money, but it feels like this. Like I said, someone could have lost their job and now they don't have any money to give, right? Someone could be out there really, really trying to go from zero to hero, right? So it's like they have to wait. Because the five of pentacles, the, the 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 broke energy is like not having any to the ten to be like having it all, right? So there's something about rags to riches here, for sure. This is rags to riches, but it has everything to do with divine timing. Put it where it goes, soul tribe. Put it where it goes. You could be dealing with an earth sign, Sagittarius, Cancer Scorpio, I'm not Cancer Scorpio Pisces, I'm sorry. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, see, Ten of Swords and a Knight of Wands, for sure. So it's like there is going to be some sort of ending to something. But it's divine timing. And something does go from rags to riches in divine timing. So maybe an offer or an opportunity that eluded someone at some point. It did elude someone at some point. But it's like divine timing is kicking in. And then here it comes. Goes from rags to riches. And I do feel like this happens quickly. Some of you are definitely dealing with the Sagittarius, with the Knight of Wands. But the Ten of Swords, it, it happens very quickly, whatever this is. So let's see what the confusion is about the love letter. Love letter. Either someone is confused about how to express something. Maybe they just don't know how to explain something or express something at the right time because it could have everything to do with finances and abundance, right? Or someone doesn't... They're, they're not sure how to express something right now. They're not sure how they're going to express something. Or they're not sure how they're going to go about doing something that they want to do, but they are. Revealing heartfelt emotions, forgiveness for past wrongs, open line of communication, the unexpected hidden truth or unspoken hidden truth. Sorry, the Hierophant, you could be dealing with the Taurus. See the Eight of Swords, this is the confusion energy. Could be dealing with a Taurus for real. Someone could be going through something with work. This could be something dealing with the marriage. This could also be de something dealing with the business, a commitment, a contract, an institution, right? This could be school, law, hospital, medical with the Hierophant here. But this is the Eight of Swords. This is definitely someone trying to figure something out that's dealing with this Hierophant energy. It could be dealing with religion. Be dealing with the family, but this is someone's trapped in their head. They're 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 not confused. I figure like I, I feel like it's more of just trying to figure out how I'm gonna accomplish something. Which way do I want to go about doing something here? 
for sure. Yeah, the Four of Cups. Mm -hmm. So let's see why the Mesmerized. And moving on, thank you. Next energy is here. I do feel like for some of you, this is about love. And someone definitely is still very much mesmerized by you, right? Your beauty is captivating. There's like a magnetic attraction that is still very strong. They may feel like you are moving on. You are saying no thank you. And they have to say something or do something before that happens. I also feel like however this is resonating, whatever someone is mesmerized with, whatever someone is, de is determined to get, no matter what disappointing news is coming in, I do feel like someone still wants what they want. And no matter what setbacks come in, someone's going to give it this energy moving on. Thank you. Next, I'm still going to keep it pushing for sure. I still want what I want. Give me more for this energy. Yeah, the Ten of Wands. I told you, this is moving on. Thank you, next. This is dropping heavy burdens. This is no longer being oppressed, right? Because the Ten of Wands is being oppressed. This is when someone is carrying a load and it's too heavy. Moving on is being able to drop that load and move past it and still go after what you want. And let me show y'all something. Ooh, we Queen of Pentacles here. King of Pentacles there. Put yourself where you go. A power couple, masculine and feminine. All right. Let's see what the misdirection is about. I do feel like all of this, whatever this hap whatever that happened here, whatever the disappointing news was that came in, that kind of misdirected, misguided, or took something off track, it all came in because of a happiness hater. Because someone in this situation did not want to see someone happy. But regardless to how much someone did not want to see someone happy here with the happiness hater, there's still an offer coming in, no matter what. So let's see what's going on here for y'all. Give me some for my soul tribe. Give me one for the misdirection. Happiness hater offer here for my soul tribe. Look, the devil be damned. Capricorn energy for sure. There's that king of pentacles. Some of you are definitely dealing with the Capricorn. Be careful if someone's trying to come in and get you drunk. <laughs> The four of wands. Yes, I do feel like there's probably some sort of toxic, codependent energy here dealing with some sort of happiness hater that threw something off track. But I do feel like someone with the king of, with the king of pentacles and the three of wands, someone still has plans on doing what they want, getting what they want, going after what they want. Let me get one more for this energy. And it has everything to do with union and partnership. Give me one more for this misdirection. The two of wands, I told you, a plan, a plot, a strategy. The tower. Yeah, someone's still going to make it do what it do. That's what I just heard. The tower. Yep. Scorpio, Aries, Energy, the Fool, Libra. Oh, look at all these majors, y'all. Judgment. Yeah. These cards are telling me that no matter what devil energy, toxic, codependent, could be abusive, could be just be obsessive, whatever energy that threw somebody off track, that misguided the entire situation, with the tower, there's some sort of sudden upheaval with the fool. Somebody is figuring out that they're still going to do what they want to do. Justice and judgment. Someone is still going to do what they want to do. They're still going to go after what they want, no matter how. Some sort of disappointing news that came in, came in and derailed the situation. If someone thought they derailed the situation for someone, they didn't. And someone's still going to go after something and get what they want. And that's how I'm seeing it, guys. If I got it right for you, like, comment, subscribe, share. If you're interested in booking me, please email me. I thank you for entrusting me, believing me, supporting me, allowing me this opportunity. I hope I was able to bring you guys messages of peace, love, light, and clarity. I will have some more readings for you guys very soon. Stay beautiful and stay blessed. Bye, my beautiful soul tribe.